Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Jeff Backler for CNET.com. Today we're having a first look at the Nintendo DSi XL. Can you just tell us basically why Nintendo went in this direction going with the massively larger DSi? Uh, well, part of the thought process behind creating the Nintendo DSi XL is that we wanted to create an enhanced portable gaming experience. And uh, we believe that we've done that in a couple of ways. Um, one of them, of course, is the much larger screen. Another thing that you might not notice right off the bat, besides the larger uh, screen, is a wider viewing angle. Mm -hmm. And what that means is when both of us are looking at the screen from whatever angle, we're still going to get the same quality as we would if we're just looking directly at it. We include the normal stylus, but we also include the um, pen-shaped stylus or stylus pen. Uh, there's also games where you have to draw like the downloadable Flipnote mm -hmm. Studio, the DSiWare, um, and then the new game that we're coming out with, WarriorWare DIY, where you actually develop your own games and you can draw in and animate your own, um, your own artwork. We have the original DS Lite here. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to the DSi XL, what are we talking in terms of differences between the two uh, handhelds? Well, the Nintendo DSi XL has a 93% larger screen. The Nintendo DSi XL is more similar to the Nintendo DSi, um, but it does have more powerful sound coming out of the speakers because there's more surface area here. And also the internal memory and information here is similar to the DSi where you have downloadable content through the DSi shop. Um, you can connect to the, to the internet and so forth. Um, and you'll be used to that same format of being able to use the camera, the internal and external cameras. Well, thank you very much, Nate, for showing us the DSi XL. This has been a first look. I'm Jeff Bacalar. Thanks for watching.